Hey, what's happening everybody? Rajay back to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by check out another video. I'm going to take a look at one today from Sierra Nevada. This is the Snow Wit White IPA. This comes in at 5.7% ABV and 40 IBU. Let's go ahead and get into a glass and check it out. Now as you see, we get it into the glass here. Pours out a nice two to three finger head. The head itself, a nice white head. A little bit of rockiness on there, some nice tight bubbles. On the beer, we have a pretty much golden straw color. Do have some clarity, but we also do have a little bit of a chill haze on there. Looks to be a pleasant looking white IPA. As far as the aroma, on the aroma, big notes of grapefruit. Very nice citrus floral uh, aroma coming out of the glass. Do get some of the hops in the background. Not as much a dankness on the hops, but a little bit more of a pininess type smell. But it does smell like a very nice IPA. Let's go ahead and get a taste. On the taste, you do get the bitterness hit up front. Everything on the bitterness is to the front of the tongue. Not much on the back end. The flavors do open up inside where you do get some of the hoppiness. Kind of a aftertaste on the back end of kind of like a sensor water. Kind of has that bubbly tonic type feature. Not as crisp and refreshing for what I would like on the back end. Flavors do open up some. Do you get a good amount of duration on the flavor? You do feel it up into the cheek area. But that aftertaste to me has kind of put me off a little bit on it. Definitely not one of my more favorite ones from uh, Sierra Nevada. Carbonation on the palate. It seems to be maybe a little over carbonated. Definitely get hit a lot more with a lot of the bubbles on the palate. Not as smooth. A little bit of a harshness there. And after the swallow, you feel it some towards the middle of the tongue, it seems. You do have some lacing on the glass, as you can see there, taking place. It's always nice. Overall, this one isn't an okay beer. It doesn't really knock me back. It's not one of my favorites, as I mentioned, from Sierra Nevada. I think it's um, one that you can experiment with, but not one I'd probably seek after that. You know, if you like a little bit more of a harsher bitterness type IPA, then this might be a play for you. Like I mentioned, this one actually only has 40 IBU, but they do hit you pretty hard on this. But again, this is the Sierra Nevada Snow Wit White PA. As far as a grade for me overall, I'm going to actually give this one a 3 out of 5. I think it's just kind of a middle of the road IPA. It doesn't really do anything to make it stand out some, but it's not bad enough to be a harsh type beer compared to some of the other ones out there in that category. It's just mostly a kind of a middle of the road type IPA, but there you have it. The Sierra Nevada Snow Wit White IPA. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think. Love to hear your feedback on it. It does talk about how it has seven dwarf hops that they use for this one, and it is designed to have kind of that grapefruit. Now they do use a Belgian yeast, so maybe that's affecting the taste a little bit there, but just not one to knock my socks off. But hey, there we go. Sierra Nevada Snow Whip YPA. Thanks for swinging by. Check out another video. Hopefully you like what you saw. Um, if you did, please make sure you uh, hit that like button. And of course, as I said before, put some comments in the comment section if you have some feedback on this one too. But I definitely appreciate you swinging by. Check out another video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. So that way you can take the speed on all the videos. So with that, I'm going to say cheers. Keeping it uh, short and sweet tonight. Appreciate you. Keep drinking good craft beer. Cheers.